Yeah, this is one of the more bizarre stories that I've seen because it really showcases that maybe Xbox as a console isn't something that Microsoft cares about that much. And it's kind of a slapping uh, to the fans, in my opinion. You know, we'll see if that's something that um, continues to happen or not. But yeah, like when I look at this and I say, what does this mean for Xbox fans? I just think that it's just the, how the future is going to be you know it's it's unfortunate um but you know it's it's just one of those things where what can microsoft do at this point that's gonna change people's perception it's like they're honestly not really that worried about changing the perceptions or getting people excited about the future of the platform and you know then you have like a lot of the xbox fanboys like and i'm an xbox fan i love xbox but let's be clear I, I like xbox the box right i couldn't give a shit less about you know streaming stuff or a pc or playing something on a phone or a smart fridge or any of that bullshit right i, I just honestly do not care about that stuff so you know again I, I think we kind of come from different times or whatever but this right here is very very interesting and i want to get into it i'm sure a lot of you guys are going to think the way i do and it's not a good look for xbox and man for my for sony you're just like whoa you know i just uh, it's it's crazy but let's go ahead and get into it hey everybody i'm crap gamer this is crap gamer reviews back with a, another video thank you guys for checking it out please leave a like on it i appreciate that as well uh it definitely means a lot to me and if you guys could you know slap the like button and maybe even consider subscribing that would be awesome uh you know i really do appreciate it and you know it helps the channel grow and things like that so super important uh to be able to continue to do that so thank you guys now um again the daily content thing is difficult, man. Let like look at anybody who's out there trying to do it. I guarantee you it's tough. And you know, so I think like if you guys are looking for content that's kind of entertaining and uh fun and you know and a little bit informative as well, then absolutely uh you found the right spot. So thank you guys. Now interestingly enough, um Minecraft, which is a first party thing owned by Xbox, right? Um, is getting a native PS5 version, but not Xbox Series X or S. So think about that for a second and let that sink in. I know there's going to be the initial thought from some fanboys that say something like, oh, not a big deal. Who cares? You know, it, it doesn't matter. Um, that kind of stuff. But, you know, I, I feel like it does matter, you know. Um, Xbox developer Mojang Studios has officially announced a release date for the PlayStation 5 version of Minecraft. This native PS5 release hit Sony's platform on October 22nd. However, despite Mojang being under Microsoft control for absolutely ages at this stage, we still don't know anything about a native Xbox Series X and S version. So, yeah, think about that for a second. Yep, that's right. Minecraft is coming to PS5. But not this Series X and S, which just feels odd considering Microsoft literally owns the IP and its development studios. Of course, the game does look and run better on current-gen Xbox console and has done since a 2023 preview update. But that is still technically the Xbox One version of the game. So, you know, think about that for a second as we kind of, you know, move forward and, you know, kind of look at this. But anyway, um, what's more, the sort of update is also feasible for the PS4 version of Minecraft. So at this point, there has been loads of PS4 games made to look and run better via PS5 backwards compatibility. But for some reason, Mojang is going down the native route with Minecraft. Um, and this new version will support 4K resolution, 60 frames per second on PS5 um, with nothing else in terms of current gen features announced just yet but again this is pretty interesting now just a few weeks ago a lot of people were talking about not seeing the xbox series version of minecraft yet on the 10 year anniversary of the xbox one release but it seems despite that we won't be receiving a current gen xbox port anytime soon and in the process we're still left waiting for those sweet sweet ray tracing features that were promised all those um you know uh, years ago so yeah we kind of live in this world right now where this kind of stuff is happening um you know first party xbox game yes it's multi-platform but even xbox's own studios are prioritizing the playstation over xbox think about that for a second like that to me is absolutely insanity because you know we all bought into i mean most people if you watch this we all bought into an xbox and now we're kind of looking at this and going 
man, this is really, really bad stuff right here. Um, I hope that Microsoft can do something to, you know, change the 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 future and, and change the way people think about this stuff because this is not going to end well for them you know it's like why couldn't they have done something with this to realistically make um xbox fans happy as well you know why why is playstation getting stuff uh like this it just honestly to me does not make sense um it doesn't really jive either like i don't understand the thought process behind microsoft doing this sony on the other hand continue to look better uh because let's just be real uh, playstation's in a much better spot you know like playstation realistically um they're getting you know games and, and i've mentioned this before and people don't really believe it but microsoft since they continually kind of talk about oh it's a business blah 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 right which they do a lot now think about this for a second um what's to stop them from you know being able to maybe having sony buy marketing rights to one of their games right like right now it's like like just let's just say doom for instance right this new doom coming out couldn't sony get marketing rights from that why would sony not why would microsoft not do that right they already don't look at their consumers as anything special you know so like i could definitely see that or you see a situation where um you know microsoft is would let allow them to do uh like the, the the call of duty marketing rights and things like that uh, which would be crazy you know what i mean like isn't the whole reason why you're doing this stuff to be able to um you know get people to buy into your platform i think that's what you're trying to do yeah so it's so odd to me that they're kind of handling these things the way that they are you know it's just and it's a real shame you know but again bravo to microsoft I mean to Sony because they are the ones that realistically are kind of doing this stuff that gets people excited again you know like the pro I get it not everybody is a big fan of the pro or whatever but hey you know they got the pro they announced that like 30 year anniversary of it everybody's kind of freaking out about it and rightfully so um you know astrobot is great you know people already were quick to forget about like the concord stuff or whatever um which makes sense because let's just be real concord is um you know a, a mess and i don't think that'll ever be uh something that uh, that they can come like that whole studio will probably end up getting closed down or whatever so uh and, and i can't say i blame sony man supposedly they you know went all out for this to try to make it um you know something that everybody you know that was supposed to be quote unquote the future of playstation i don't know if that's going to be the case or not because clearly that game is absolute trash and they realistically um you know shut it down within what the first week or 10 days or whatever so yeah we we sort of live in this world where not everything is as it seems and things don't always go the way that these companies would want them to um you know so yeah like i said it's pretty crazy to me but sony always end up shining regardless right and that's the funny part to me it's like they always end up looking much better um at the end of the day uh than 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 what they went in and and that that could be said you know for good leadership i mean yeah they have their downs and things like that but at the same point in time um you know they always kind of rebound like much quicker and and on the other hand like and i called this right so so microsoft when they when you know when sony does screw up you know microsoft is only a couple days away from doing something absolutely asinine to completely take take all the heat off of playstation so i'm not sure whether or not that is something that um you know uh, that they actively do on purpose like why would you it, it doesn't make sense to me why you would do something like that but yeah it just seems like that like when when this concord and the price the 700 on the price of the ps5 pro all came out and everybody was kind of making fun of playstation i knew in a matter of days that microsoft would do something that completely screwed up and got everybody not talking bad about playstation again and what did microsoft do well they lay off 
you know another bat group of workers and that's exactly what happened you know what i mean they everybody stopped talking about that stuff and then sony came out with you know hey we're going to do this 30th anniversary thing of of uh the playstation console or whatever and everybody was back on top you know everybody was back hyping up playstation so anyway i'll link this in the description you guys can let me know what you think i appreciate it y'all are amazing have a great day rack them up fact them up crap gamer them up Crap Gamer, out.